Hey y'all, Winter Hermit here. Playing Seven Days to Die. Um, you know, as you can see, we're a ways into this game. I thought I'd give a little bit of a preview. Um, we're really waiting for Alpha 17 to come out. And I just survived a seven day horde night. Um, honestly, it's not even, I don't even worry now. Um, I've got this rooftop garden. I built up here so during the night I just kind of come up here and I I do some of my gardening I got a kitchen built here um, I've done a little work with the paintbrush on the floor you know I got some cabinets and fridge and chem station over here I got my gun safe I got an armor locker um, and my water storage um, I got two pools of water there, as well as um, a bucket of water that I can refill them with. Um, this is kind of some of my wiring and my lights. I've got a generator down there. Um, here's just kind of my workshop room. These crates are uh, just all my stuff I'm going to sell to the trader. Got that. We got some tools, supplies. Uh, this is just kind of general crafting supplies. And this is actually not my main base. My starter base, which is on the roof of the gas station, um, is still there. I've actually still got a lot of supplies over there. I just I don't need them, so I just leave them there. Um, this is my, uh, we'll call it my foundry room, sort of. I mean, we got four forges going. Um, each one I kind of specialize a little bit. This one's pretty much all ironworks, and I of course got clay in there because you use clay with a lot of stuff. This is pretty much my my cement one. It's all my stone, and then I've got a supply box which kind of houses everything to do with metals and stones and brass, lead. And then I got a brass and lead one. I got a cement mixer here. Um, you know, I'm always making concrete because, as you can see, my base is a lot of concrete. Let's go ahead and take a peek outside here. So I've got it built. Shut the door, not that it matters because nobody can really get in anyway. So I've got it built with a bridge up here and then I've got a trench with um, a lot of spikes down there. Some of them I've upgraded to the next level, I think one I accidentally upgraded to, like, forge steel. Um, this was an attempt. I put barbed wire around here, but I never even finished it because I decided it was a bad idea because the zombies wreck it up and you just are constantly having to redo it anyway. Ooh, I got a lot of, a lot of those to repair. But see, what I was doing is I was going to build these pillars up and expand the top layer out. Um, so then I had a place to walk out and shoot. Um, you know, I thought about just doing it as bars so I could shoot down through the bars. But um, as you can see, um, what I didn't realize in the beginning is... Uh, they're even after they fall down they lose their legs they were wrecking up the ground and my supports the way structural integrity works oh, shite let's uh, back up a second here let's kill this guy and then we'll go back to talking about structural integrity so I get for not paying attention yeah, take a nap. Okay, so the way structural integrity works is uh, up and down, you can stack up to the limit, which I don't recall what it is, but there's no limit on what it can hold, even no matter what. It can be wood frames, and you can stack as high as you can go. You can stack, you know, some you know concrete on top of wood frames. It doesn't matter as long as there's something all the way to bedrock. So if they start taking out underneath my base, there's no longer a solid row all the way to bedrock. 
So then my base is going to collapse. Let me take back to this guy. Murph is not on right now. He's at work. Um, so, they were wrecking that up. So, what I've started to do is... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Okay. Whew. Oh, shit. I might die down here. I died down there. Holy shit. Okay. So, let's... You know, the funny thing is, I don't even think I have a bedroll in this new base. So we're probably going to spawn back at the other base, which is literally just around the corner. Okay, that takes a little bit to load, so I pause the recording. Yep, so that's okay. We'll show you show you over here. That sucks. I haven't died in a long time. Actually, does it tell me? Longest life, 13 hours, 4 minutes, and I believe that's real time. I know it's real time, because that's nothing in-game. I mean, that's half a day. So, I've got my original stuff over here, my forge, I had some boxes, you know, some some campfires to cook on here. Um, but it's okay, it's kind of my emergency go-to base when need be. Um, I also had built a skywalk out here. This was my garden, which I still kind of leave some stuff here as emergency backup. And they've kind of wrecked up my fence. Um, I planted this forest. So I've got a place to come harvest trees. There you can kind of see my base from the outside. I got a couple wood things to fix yet. But they, I mean, they don't affect the structural integrity at all anyway. Oh, shoot. I'm going to hope I can jump across here running. Oh, yeah, no problem. Because I need... I need some blocks to get down there. I have no way to jump down there because I don't have wooden blocks. Do I have any wood at all? I don't think so. Okay, so here's what we can do. Just craft a couple of these. This will be enough to get me down there to get my stuff. Watch out for the barbed wire. There's a couple of random barbed wires there yet. Where's my backpack? Let's go back to our tour here. We gotta put our stuff back. I like always keep my auger on me. Alright, so let's put our clothes back on so we ain't out here. And I've got an iron helmet as well, but um, I've got this on right now. That's for this purpose. Okay, so, as you can... See, I've started to put barbed wire 
around here and I've built this up because this concrete HP wise it's gonna show me it's like a thousand or two thousand at least and the dirt's like 200 don't have any iron so yeah I'm basically trying to really fortify this so then even when they fall down in the hole they're they're done for they're stuck down there I will do that all the way around and then I will honestly probably start kind of working my way in and making this like very solid concrete so even ooh see they have I didn't know they wrecked all this up here To uh, yeah, I'm do a lot of repairing around here. So obviously, they have crawled through a spot in the wall there. See, here's where some of my barbed wire still is. So yeah, there's that. Um, normally to get in here, I've got trap door right there get down you can see I got I labeled this one it's my armory and um, so you know we're really just playing around for the most part now that's how you're supposed to get in and out of my base see a drawbridge and I've got another project here I'll show you cruise over there not to the north I need to go to the East. Oop, I gotta get off my bike and check the map. Ah, uh, no, I gotta go west. West, west, west. Yep, so I go up here and turn here. This is a project I've kind of recently started. Um, mainly because there is a trader across the river, and I'll show you on the map here in a minute once I get there I'm not gonna that's something apparently they fixed in the new the Alpha 17 is you can access your map while still on like the motorcycle or whatever so I've started building a bridge all the way across let's see if anybody's donated oh, nobody's donated so let's look at the map okay so my base is right here the trader is right there there's a spot to cross up here. So right now, I've got to cruise all the way up here, up, around, and down to get to this trader. So, as you can see, this is a lengthy project to get all the way across there. But I have constructed a really long bridge all the way across. And I want to finish... Um, you know, upgrading these. Oops. Um, it honestly makes no difference to the, the structural integrity at all. Um, I just think it it looks better as a wooden bridge rather than the frames. And I'm not done putting the railing anywhere near all the way across yet. And that I want there for the sole purpose of when I'm cruising across it on my mini bike, you don't accidentally go off sides. So this is the Winter Hermits International Toll Bridge. And I've asked everybody to please donate wood or even iron to the cause because uh, these supports down here, I'm not concerned about the ones in the water because the zombies are not gonna be out in the water wrecking those up. But on this side and the other side, these ones right here where they can get to, I want to upgrade to like iron supports. Again, just for the sole purpose of if a zombie starts attacking them 
Um, they don't do it so much unprovoked, but if I were going across the bridge and they were down there, they may start hitting it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty short video, just kind of highlighting uh, what's going on here. This is um, my server. We do have quite a few people playing on it. Right now we're capped at, oh, I think I went the wrong direction. Not north, I gotta go south, west. Yeah, I gotta go that way. Man, losing my mind. Um, it's, it's capped at a limit of eight people online at a time, which has not been an issue at all. We've got, um, we've probably got at least eight people on here. However, we certainly never have eight at a time because we've got people in like every time zone that play. So everybody's time varies a little bit. Um, you know, I may come back, do another video, highlight others' bases. Um, Murph's got a pretty massive base, um, garage included. Um, James or Tex has a really nice... Uh, horde bunker um it's above ground but then you you go in and you go down underground and you can operate the stuff from there he's got spinning blade traps um you can stand up on top and shoot the the zombies as they're coming in um so a lot of fun stuff you know at this point we're just playing around um getting our feel back for the game um, a lot of us have been away from the game for a long time you know, because it's, it's, it's long between updates in this game. I mean, let's be honest. We've been waiting for Alpha 17 for a long time. It sounds like it should be close. I've seen some preview video game, you know, videos from the devs um, showing it off. Looks cool. There's going to be a 4x4 like Jeep with spikes on the front you can drive around in. Um, it looks like there's a legit like full-on motorcycle with some ramming spikes on the front. Not this cheesy little mini bike. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd encourage you to, uh, give our channel a follow here at, uh, Winter Hermit Gaming. Um, there will be a lot of seven days to die videos coming when Alpha 17 launches. Like we will be on here constantly. We will be recording. Um, I'll be giving shout outs to others that'll have videos. Cause I'm sure Murph from Murph's Let's Play Nation will be pumping out some, some seven day videos. Um, he's always got some good stuff, usually some good tips and tricks on his. So yeah, we're excited. Um, the other thing, I'm probably going to start doing some uh, No Man's Sky videos next released. I've been playing it, haven't done any recording on it yet, but definitely been playing, enjoying the multiplayer. Um, yeah, so we'll have a lot of things coming to the channel. So throw a thumbs up if you want to see some 7 Days to Die. Um, like the channel. Yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Winter Hermit, out.